Days of Our Lives was my goal. I interned on General Hospital. I never made it to Days of Our Lives, um, but you know, who knows? Hey, it's I'm still like, going. They just renewed it for another 20 years or whatever, so. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. <laughs> in the cold in front of a fire station. You didn't make good choices. You had good choices. Options that being rich and white and entitled gave you. Again, that's the difference between you and me. I would never make this about race. Elena, you made this about race when you stood out there in the street and begged me to be your maid. This is not working. Pretty amazing. Little fires everywhere on Hulu. Um, but like I mentioned, it's just one of many, many things you've done. You're actually uh, working, been working on the morning show too, uh, as well, right? I did. I worked on the morning show before Little Fires. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it was so. amazing. And I, I actually left early to go do Little Fires. Is that right? Wow. You know, just lots of things to choose from. Um, what was it about Little Fires? Uh, you know, uh, Reese Witherspoon, obviously, and Kerry Washington and that whole package, as they say in the business. Um, and it seems to be a part of a trend, a, a huge part of a trend of these books being turned into limited series rather than movies or something else. Now, obviously, the success of Big Little Lies, the Reese Witherspoon connection, makes you obviously Obviously, think of that, uh, but it's got its own rhythm, its own vibe, no question. But I think it's benefiting from this new trend uh, that we're seeing here. Absolutely. I mean, when I read the, you know, recent Carrie um, through their teams brought me the project, and um, when I read the book, I was just blown away. It tapped into so many things that I just felt so connected to, you know, as not just a writer, but really just on a human level. And, you know, I felt like there was also this, you know, compelling driving mystery. Um, and I was just really excited to, to get a crack at it. Yeah, and so when you take on, you've done adaptations before, and interestingly too, you are also a novelist. You've done your own books too. So you know that side of it, um, uh, which not- Don't call me that, that's very kind. <laughs> oh, well, come on, you, you, uh, you wrote adaptations of series uh, that you had been involved with. Uh, Dawson's Creek, I believe, was your first adventure yes, into that. Yes, that, back right? in the day. <laughs> and others uh, that are originals and things. So you 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 know from that side of it, if somebody is creating something as a, as a book, as it were, uh, and then adapting it, obviously you've done too. So uh, what is yeah. what that experience uh, help you with here? I I'm, you know I love the adaptation. You know I I am nowhere um, my my little you know, <laughs> novel experience is is very slight compared to less um, beauty and success and storytelling and prose, but I um, I love having that framework. You know, I like starting with this great kind of um, source material, basically. And I mean, in this case, you know, I think Celeste's book was so revered by all of us. We all fell in love with it just as fans. Um, and so then to get to take that, to infuse everything that I think the book brought up and touched in all of us. And, you know, I'm talking about Reese and Carrie and Lauren Neustadter, Reese's partner, and Pilar Savone, Carrie's partner. And we just all felt so moved by it. And it was really fun to take, you know, take the book and get to dissect it and get to figure out, you know, how in the adaptation do we now get to mine, mine it even more deeply or tell something through maybe a different lens. Um, how do we expand the book to, you know, now to fill eight episodes of television or streaming? Um, how do we get to dive into stories that maybe we didn't get to dig into in the book just because lack of time? And, and how can we expand out these worlds? And so that was really fun. And I, I love that. Like, I'm, I'm definitely a humongous fan of adapting things from this experience and from before. But I think this experience has been really fulfilling and unique. Yeah, you know, and when you mentioned all those names, uh, I immediately am thinking, what is so unique here? It's women, it's mothers, it's multiracial, it's yeah. all of those things that this this show is about. Yeah, and, yeah. And, and it really about. Um, I yeah, think it, I agree, and it's you know, it it's yeah, the experience is really twofold because of course. Um, a humongous part of it and, and a vital part of it is the story that we're telling, the adaptation that we're doing and how we're infusing 
our own experiences into that and, and what we're connecting to it and what we're, you know, putting out there into the world with it. And then the other part of it is the experience of doing it together. And that's yeah. the more behind the scenes of the experience and what it feels like to be working on it and what it feels like to be working with other women, what it feels like to be looking across at other mothers and what it feels like to be telling a story. Um, what it feels like to bring your whole self to a story because you're not trying to act like you're not a mother sometimes in rooms be it the hours you're working the way you're working the content that you're talking about motherhood isn't something that necessarily is getting it's not the thing that you're trying to highlight you know yeah. oh my gosh my kid has a game i have to leave early i i can't stay past six like oh no what do you mean we're ordering dinner those things or you know we're talking about being single and casual sex and I mean, whatever it is, you're tapping into a different part of your life. With this, I think we all were able to tap into the part of life that we're in um, and then a part of life that we deeply reflect on, which is our own daughterhood. And of course, nothing makes you think about your own daughterhood more than trying to mother. <laughs> you found appreciation. <laughs> Exactly. You yourself was adopted. Adoption is a very big part of this as well. I mean, very strong issues in this as and you know, it goes back to one of the shows you created actually life unexpected, which had that personal um, thing too going for it. Um, yeah. Does that add an extra layer for you of uh, throwing yourself into this kind of a project? Absolutely. I mean, I think, you know, life unexpected was a show. It was my first show. And it was a show that you know, I felt so connected to at that time, again, the content of the show, but also the experience of doing the show with all the writers and producers and cast and directors. It just, it was a really special time. And it, it, it touched me deeply because I think it was about a lot of the things that I grappled with as an adopted kid and, and grappled, I mean, in a good way, you know, not, I don't mean that to be a negative. Um, and I think since Life Unexpected, you know, once you have a show, the question is always like, when are you going to get your next show? And it's kind of like, oh, well, I already did it once. Like, how many do I, you know, how, how many cracks do you really get at this in this world? Like, I feel like that was that might have been it. And but I really felt like I wanted um, and obviously not for lack of trying. Of course, the whole time I'm trying to do it. But I felt like the reason this came to me in the way that it did is because it was probably the first show since then that I had connected to as deeply on such a visceral level and allowed me to explore parts of the story that I'm still enjoying exploring in my own life, um, and especially becoming a mother. Um, and so there's something, of, I, think, I think that's part of what's made this experience so unique and special. And, and for me, it's the perfect, um, follow up to life unexpected i think and and in terms of you know hopefully my career and what i'm writing and how i'm writing but also you know another group of wonderful people getting to really do something that i think meant meant something to us and will continue to hold meaning even as other shows kind of come and go